What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Duo. I am not alone in this episode of Dang and Robot 2, Goodbye Despair. We have a sniper! So, do you want to mm -hmm. provide the backsto backstory of why you're here with us today? I heard that we were doing an escape room, and I just wanted to join in. We're doing an escape room, and we tried a couple of things. Sniper, of course, you guys know, Sniper is always, like, in the background of these Day and Ropa episodes. So, yeah, um, we're playing as Nagi, you know. In a weird way, I am totally okay with it. So, this is, like, totally okay. Um, but, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the show on the road. What I don't know what we're trying to accomplish first. Uh, what I, I have a handy-dandy notebook for us to, like, make sure that we're checking in everything okay. So... We have uh, a couple things. Watch the news is a big one. Mm -hmm. That's probably a clue to something. I would assume. Uh, okay, there's your monomy. There, okay. <clears throat> monomy. Also, yeah. The fact that you can just skip the escape room is sad. Well, it's not, because I can understand it for speedruns and stuff. There's two um, number locks. The number that I saw was three, five, four, five, six, and seven so far. Wait, three, four, five, six, and seven, correct? Yeah, so, yeah, because there's a three, there's the four. Wait, wait, go back to that four. Wait, that does not look like a four. Wait. Oh, wait. You want to go back to the four? Yeah, no, that looks more like an arrow than anything. Like a Sagittarius arrow? Maybe. Um, and then watch the news. There's the two padlocks. This TV doesn't turn on. And then the laptop, which is not working either. I also spy that you have a a coat hanger and pliers. Yes. Also, when we go in here, there's a little, like, paper. So. Which has the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday with the numbers one, two, or zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it says uncompressed password. And then I don't, this was locked, but we can pick it with the coat hanger probably. No, we cannot. Uh, no. Not with how the coat hanger is as right now. Can I use the pliers? It's impossible to use this to force open the iron bars. It's made out of iron. If I straighten it out, it'll be it'll become a... Th what? Well, how can I straighten it out? I guess I can't right now. Actually, hold up. Use your... What? Click the pliers and click the code hanger. Or actually no, click the code hanger first and use the pliers. Oh. There you go. <clears throat> now we anything? can now we can pick this lock. Is... Honestly, with that would even with that as is, that wouldn't really No. A wobble under the bed. Is there anything under there? Yes, there was. We can go ahead and... Oh. There's something under the bed. I can't reach it. Uh, the floor, I can't even move. Is there something thin and long? Yes. Uh, use it on the bed. We've obtained the key. Oh, 
Oh, scissors. So the key's gone. We don't need the key anymore. Yep. Uh, can we cut the plushie with the scissors? Enough already. Guy, I didn't eat any grannies. Whoa, whoa, what a loud thing. Cut it open right away. Wait, there was batteries. Cool. Okay. Awesome. And now, I split in half Monokuma. Yep. Poor Monokuma. Could the batteries be used for this? I mean, it looks powered, if anything. That is true. So the batteries have to be used for something. Oh, the television. No. Uh, it might be useful to hold on to it later. Can I use one of the batteries on this? No, that's probably just for the code. Yeah. Uh, let's look around the room again with the code. What? Let's look around the room again for the code. That's an obvious six. Um. Oh, wait. Um. That's the number four, right? A number, huh? It looks like a different symbol to me. For instance, a symbol that you often see on maps. Wait, look at the opposite wall of where you are right now. This? Yeah, so three... Three, six... Seven. Um. So three, six, seven, five are the four numbers then. Yeah. So we can take four out of the equation. Yeah, because that four look doesn't really look like a four. I'm trying to train the password. Three, six, seven, five. No. Leave it to me. If you don't know something, don't overwork yourself. Feel free to ask me anytime. Let's just confirm one more time. The letters news. Let's confirm one more time. The letters news show the direction. Is Mon is our ah uh, is Mon is the days of the week different in Japan?
We have not done every number with three yet. We haven't tried 37s. Or 35s. Come on, back down and shake the six again. There's something written in blood on the wall. It's the number six. The blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe I'll if I combine them with something else. Wait a minute. Wait a It's nine. Oh Usually, my there's a... god. You're right. There's a dash. It's a nine. <laughs> Uh, to be to be completely fair, the blood spatter that looks makes it look like a dot, and it made me to believe that it's six. So so it's on. north, which in this case is going to be the f five. Three, nine, five, seven. North. Wait, why three? Three is north. Remember, uh, news. North, east, west, south. So you're wanting this? Yeah. Wow. And we got a... A, a US USB stick. It's in, that, okay, I kind of like that in shape of a key. Me too. And the digital and camera. Yeah. Luckily, there's no battery inside the camera. Well, let's fix that yeah. real quick. Now we can use the digital camera. And then the key, the USB. Is for the laptop because it probably has the password for the laptop. Now we need to put in the password. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might be able to help us with the laptop password. I got it. So the first letters, the first letter of the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, meaning it's M T W T F S S. Error. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, I doubt it's that simple. Okay. Come on, are you able to check the camera? Oh, you mean like check it? Yeah. I should check the picture that's inside. It looks like it's a photo of a space poster that's posted on the wall somewhere. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Uh, M V E M. J S. It's not the days of the week. Based on the memo and the picture and the digital camera, the answer must be. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh no. How do I go back? I don't think right yeah. I think that's right, yeah. Okay, so it's uh, Saturn, Earth, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, e. Mars, this goes by so slow, Jupiter, Saturn. What? Young Oh, yeah. Or push OK in this case. Is this Othello? Oh, frick. We have to play Othello. Is this Othello? It certainly is, Monami. It certainly is. Wait, let me see the computer again. It's an Othello game. Ah. Morse code. Don't overwork yourself. Ask me any time. 
Okay, this is actually a little simple. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you a little minor trick that I found out myself when I'm using my fingers for counting. Okay. So you know about Morse code, right? On. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay. I will also get a notepad ready. I should have probably done that. Every time you have to go, it's oh, you're always going to use your index finger to go as the first one. Then it's basically like this. If you have nothing to go next to, you lift up your next finger, then put all the rest, then put the rest of your fingers down. Okay. So that means when you go to your pointer finger, you're going to go to your middle, you're going to close it, then go to your middle finger. Got you. Then when it comes to the next one, you're going to put up your point your finger up again. That's three. Then you put those two down again, and then it goes to your ring finger, which means it should be four. So. There's the, the three filled in dots. 3x is did to da, and then x x dot x dot dot x x x x dot dot. Oh, it's the other way around. Okay. Um. Okay, we're kind of back. Uh, we're chilling. We were struggling on figuring out what the hell was going on. So I was dilly-dallying, right? And in my fucking dilly-dallying, I talked to Monami. <laughs> Who cares about that? Just try putting in putting 9875 in the safe. Which, of course... Oh, it's not even... I don't even have everything situated. Um, also... By the way, since we're continuing this episode, you still have free reign to talk. I know. I'm just baffled that Nagito is just giving us the answer right here, right now. I'm kind of... It's kind of funny that Nagito just gives you the answer just straight up. Like, Nagito's done with RBS. Nagito's like, you dumb. Okay? And I'm like, yes, I understand that, Nagito. I mean... I... Mm. Honestly, I'd rather this be the thing than not having the money to go past it and be stuck here forever. True, but still. Oh! Okay, well, we'll try inputting it. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Well, we'll try inputting what Nagito said, because Nagito's probably right, because unfortunately, Nagito is smart. Um, So, Nagito, I have to trust what Nagito says. Nine, eight, seven. It's actually the correct answer. Did you hear something? So this is unlocking... This is the unlocking device. The unlocking device. We're using gimmicks that were already used to conserve energy. Oh, that was Nagito that said the last part. Whoopsies. So, okay. And then we have to use the key, probably. Wait. How did we open it last time? Uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Ding, ding, ding. Yay! It looks like we've cleared it! With our powers combined, we'll be able to clear the life-threatening game! Who cares about clearing it? Why does it, the exit feel like it's not opening? Huh? What do you mean it won't open? Clatter, clatter, clatter. Are you serious? It's not opening! Didn't I just tell you that? Yes. It's not just the exit. The door we entered in from isn't opening either. Huh. Well, maybe this game isn't over yet. Could it be? Is there any chance that that thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind, Monomi. Um... Um, um, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Uh, hurry up and show me, Monami. Ah, uh, yes, this! 
Solve the mystery to the final dead room and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game, it's a life-threatening roulette. Oh! Oh, this oh, sounds like a lot of fun. Russian roulette! Oh, shit. P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. <coughs> hmm. I see. So that's what it meant. Um, what does it mean? It means the game up till now were just the opening act. And from this point on, this is the real performance. Huh? Life-threatening roulette. It's probably like a Russian roulette. See? A gun came out from there. Which means I have to play the Russian roulette, right? Hey. Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't. No matter what, it is too dangerous! Hey, Monomi. There's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey. Ah, if that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. And after that, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. You Wait, you can't do that! That's a one in six chance that you'll die! Uh, a one in six chance of death. Which means the failure rate is only one sixth. Hey, is that rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there's only a one-sixth chance of failing, uh, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Oh, oh. my god. Man's about to load five bullets in the chamber, but yet still somehow stay alive. Remove... Isn't he, <laughs> he, he is. He is. Remove one bullet from the gun. And then use it while there are still five bullets loaded. If you can do that, then there's a one-sixth chance of success. Yep. That would definitely make a, be it more of a thrilling game. Well, what are you saying? Uh, let's give it a go. Oh. My. God. What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? <laughs> oh my god! But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? <laughs> Please, stop! Oh my god. Ah, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Ha 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 ha! Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. I, 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 I'm scared of you, Nagito. Hmm? Really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. So this is the octagon, huh? Well, what a distorted room. Congratulations, Nagito! Oh, whoa, 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 he's here! Congratulations on clearing the final dead room. And you even challenge yourself the highest difficulty with the only one in six chance of success. I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first. Is this the future foundation file? Didn't we already get one where we were at the roller coaster? Uh -huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension? Hey, hey. You! What are you giving without permission? Hmm. Uh, let's see, and one more special prize. Here you go! This caress. Is this the Hope Peaks Academies? <laughs> That's right, and this file? 
contains your student profile from your time at Home Speak Academy, meaning their profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope Peaks Academy? Huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. You mean that matter of concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope Speak Academy. No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I wouldn't spend my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Ha! Mm -hmm. ah, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Oh well! Anyways, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is also up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. If so, if I look at those profiles, I'll be able to find out high amazing talent too. You'll probably be so happy to see it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful. Hmm? What are you laughing about? Well, just as I thought, it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you is the one who obtained Hope Peaks Academy student files. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. <laughs> oh, what does that even mean? Ah, uh, looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things more interesting. I, I don't really know. W what are you talking about? Hey, hey. What are you planning? What written? What's written in there? Wow. Anyway, Monomi. Hey, hey. No cheating! You haven't reached the end yet! Huh? Yeah. I mean, you haven't played a Russian roulette yet! Um, but Nagito already did it! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Get over here! Revenge of the final dead room! No. Coercion! Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Min Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave the file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. And that is what we'll do in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Uh, we'll go ahead and do another episode of the investigation time and then hopefully go ahead and figure out who killed Nekamaru because I really want to do that. Anyway, love y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Sniper, for being here and yeah. for the bounce ideas off of because, oh my god, I needed it in this episode. I, I would have been lost everywhere. So, anyways, catch y'all. Always, always happy to help. Yeah. <laughs> catch y'all later.